Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Clarice here if you never know, now you know. Guys, go ahead, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that notification bell whenever time I upload. You guys are the first to be notified. So guys, as I can tell by the title of my video, I'm going to do a 50 and over full face makeup tutorial. So for all my 50 and over ladies, I got you. So guys, sit back, relax, and let's have fun with makeup. This is going to be a very quick, simple, easy, sexy look for all my ladies, 50 and over. Now, guys, I'm going to start with my brow. For guys, I'm going to, I like to use the soap trick, guys. I like to use the soap trick. So I use the soap. I wet the soap. And I get my spoolie and I rub it on like this. And I just brush the brows upwards. Get the brows in place. When I get the brows up like that, I just go like this with my spoolie and level it. Ensure that you press it down, guys. Just get anything and just press it down. I'm going to allow the, the, my brows, guys, to dry down a bit before I go in with my pencil. I'm going to go ahead, guys, and I'm going to clean up my face with my Dickinson um, Pore Refiner Toner. You want to clean your face, guys, before you do anything. Skin prepping is very important. So I'm just going to use a towel tissue here and just to clean my face. I'm going to go in now, guys, with my she pencil, and I'm going to follow the shape of my natural brow. Ensure that the pencil is sharp. Then I'm going to go in, guys, I'm going to fill in where the spaces are. gonna go in now guys with my LA girl concealer in the shade um warm honey and I'm using this flat brush very flat thin and I'm gonna tap a little on the back and brush here and clean up under the brow now I'm just gonna go in with this small damp beauty blender and I'm just going to push the product into the skin to set it now guys this is all my 50 and over ladies guys we're 50 and over but we still want to look glamorous 50 and over is not like 20 years 50 and over i'm gonna go in now with my ear but ear spot loose translucent powder and i'm going to set the lid of my eyes And I'm using that same damp sponge to do so. If you notice, guys, I didn't do above my brow yet. When I'm putting on the foundation, I'm going to clean up above the brow. So everything will just come to um, black eyebrow pencil. And I'm just going to line as close as possible to my lash line. Then I'm going to go in now with this clean brush. It's a pencil looking brush from Duke here. And I'm going to blend out this shadow that I place. So I went ahead and I pop on my lash off camera. And I'm using the Juvia's Place Loose, um, loose Pigment Highlighter. And I'm just putting it right under the arch of my brow. Just to let the brow stand out a little bit more. 
very simple look. I already cleaned my face before I started. Then I'm going to go in now, guys, with the Nuka Festive Body Illuminizer. I'm just going to use it and just give it a, give my face a quick spray. And allow it to dry. After my face is dried on, guys, I'm going to go in with the CeraVe Moisturizer. Moisturizing Cream. You always want to moisturize the face, guys. If you have a dry skin, moisturize. If you have an oily skin, moisturize. I'm going to go in now, guys, with the Revlon Rose Gold Face Gloss Illuminize. It illuminize and hydrate your skin. And I'm going to go in with a generous amount. And for sunscreen, guys, I'll be using the Daylogic Sheer Touch. It has in the SPS. SPF sunscreen. And this sunscreen, guys, to me, it has a little shimmer in it. I don't know. When I put it on my face, it glows. I don't know if you guys have seen it. And these guys, I really use a generous amount because I'm really going out in the sun. Yes, where I am now, it's really sunny. For primer, I'm going to use the Elf Hydrated Face Primer. And I'm going to prime mainly my T-zone here. And what is left, I just bring it down on the remaining of my face. And you want to make sure that the primer is well moisturized and pushed into your skin. For foundation, I'm going to use a Black Radiance foundation in the shade 8419. And I'm going to use the one here and I'm going to apply it. And I'm just going to concentrate just on the bottom half of my face. Now is the time, guys, I clean up over my brow. And I'm using the foundation, the same foundation, to do that, to do so. <clears throat> you know, with my beauty blender, it's not damp. It's not damp. I'm just using it as is. And I'm going to push the product into the skin. Give it a further blending. And my forehead. The bridge of my nose. And around my mustache here. Find the concealer in your T-zone. You allow the concealer to dry down first. Then you blend. I'm going to blend with my real techniques. Um, blending brush and for, to blend this concealer I'm going to start at the end and work my way in I don't go directly in I start from the outer end then I blend in Then I, I'm going to take my finger now and just to blend out my nose. Then I'm going to go in now, guys, with this concealer. It's the Absolute 3D um, Concealer. It's a much lighter concealer than the one before, but I'm just going to put just a little tad in the inner corner of my eyes 
just to brighten my under eye a bit. Then I'm going to let that sit. Then I go ahead and blend it out. To blend out that concealer, now I'm going to use this smaller brush. This smaller brush is from Duke here. I'm going to use now, guys, this loose translucent powder. This little thing that I bought and amazon it's, it's super cool to to set you on that just in the palm of my hands and i'm going to set everywhere that i highlighted with the concealer because it's cream product you need to set your cream products I'm gonna go in now guys I'm going to spray it on my face with my absolute pro long setting spray and yes I use a generous amount because with all those powder guys you want the powder to oxidize into your skin to set and to marinate the, 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 the foundation and the concealer and all the powder to lock in everything then I'm going again guys with my damp beauty blender and just blend just let the, the, the beauty blender bounce from your skin. Because you're locking in everything. To highlight, to highlight, to contour my face, guys, sorry. To contour my face, I'll be using this um, Wet n Wild bronzer. I'll be using the bronzer, guys, to contour my face. And as you see, it's not a dark um, contour um, powder, sorry. And I'm using this fluffy brush, also from Duke here. And I'm just going to tap, tap, tap and blend upwards. Just a light contour, guys. And you just want to feather it around the face. Come down a little bit, um, below the, the jawline. Going again with your damp beauty blender. And I'm just going to blend at the edge of the highlight on the contour. No, guys, so lift this contour to let this contour stand out a bit. I'm going to go in now, guys, with my loose powder. And I'm sure you guys seen that contour now, right? Start from just above the ears here. And make your way around just to lift that contour. To highlight the bridge on my nose, guys, I'm going to use this small handle brush, also from Duke here, and I'm going to use a wet and wild um bronzer to highlight my nose and i'm just going to tap the, the bronzer just right in the center here and feather it down bow bow i'm gonna go now guys with my translucent powder and I'm going to put it just right under my under eye here. And I'm going to allow it just to sit for a minute or two to get that smooth look. And as I said, guys, you can get these from Amazon. Also, I'm going to go on the bridge of my nose. My forehead. Around my mouth. I 
went ahead guys and I dust off the excess powder and I did my little lippy. Now I'm gonna go in now guys with um with my Sahara blush volume one and I like to mix the pink and the orange that's my preference guys and I'm going to use my Duke here number two brush I like to dip into the, the pink first and then dust off then I just tap onto the orange Guys, I like blush. I love blush. Same palette here, guys. I'm going to take with a smaller Duke here brush. I'm going to take out this shimmer. And I'm just going to highlight. Just sweep it up, guys. And smile and sweep it up like this. Hope you guys are hearing me. And I do it from my forehead. I like my forehead to, 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 to stand out. My forehead to be glowy. With my finger. The bridge on my nose. And my cheeks, guys. Remember to tap out. You don't want to look like Rudolph. So you don't want to tap out it like that. Then I'm going to go back, guys, with my absolute uh, fitting spray. Sorry, guys. I had a scene a moment there. And I'm just going to spray the face generously. Generously. I want everything now to absorb and to marinate and all of that. And